So we've developed a completely new destruction system from the ground up. What that really means is uh, a lot more visual fidelity. It's fully 3D now, so everything is fractured and materials act like proper material. Bricks and, and wood uh, will, will fracture and, and crumble um, like, like bricks and wood. This new tech with the building destruction is very exciting, and, but at the same time, it's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of effort goes into it, and there are a lot of people get involved, um, not only artists, there's a, a tech artists, you know, programmers, designers, to ensure that we're achieving the look right and it feels right for the player. Uh, we do have destruction that can happen uh, on a building where it starts to collapse and can crush the units below. And depending on how the damage to the building occurs, if it has a slightly less damage uh, and depending on how it gets taken down, you could actually use the uh, footprint of the building for cover. Uh, when a, a mortar hits the uh, a building, no longer will you just see a, uh, a standard uh, cutout. Instead, what you'll see is the actual hole that would have been generated where it hit. And not only that, the plaster will have flaked off. And you'll see that brick behind. Uh, the brick might even be damaged, and you'll see maybe something else underneath that. With the tools we're using these days, combined with uh, improvements in graphics technology, you know, we're doing stuff that we could only imagine we could have done uh, in the past. Just the number of pieces of, of geometry uh, is, is pretty fabulous. There must be like at least 100 times more uh, physics. So one of the exciting applications to our new destruction system is the ability to pre-destroy maps. Um, we have this, uh, this, this option to basically, while the map is loading, um, we can drop a bunch of bombs over top of the map and then it, it all explodes and blows up and then we can apply additional dressings uh, to that map and then when the player loads in they see this beautifully destroyed map um, and that's all ready for them to play around in. In the previous game, uh, we would have probably provided more smoke to hide some things. Uh, and you know what? Our effects really were amazing uh, for our previous titles. But uh, now all of that is something that we're actually putting into the game. Uh, all the destruction you see is almost a one-to-one -one relationship now. Uh, if you saw a table get destroyed, that table is destroyed in its pieces, and those pieces will be uh, strewn about. And uh, when you're destroying the building, the same thing. So yeah, we're putting tremendous effort in creating this building destruction. We want to make it even more authentic and realistic. I have a feeling there will be many people who will end up playing and they will press tactical pause just to even turn the screen a little bit to take advantage of seeing all the destruction and all of its glory in that, that one, one frame, because it, it is pretty amazing.